Hey everybody, this is Rabbitier's blog, and welcome to my random review series. Today's comic book review is on one of the most well-known Batman stories to ever be created called Batman Hush. Now, before I get into what I loved and hated about this comic, I would like to give out a brief summary on this comic. Basically, this story has Batman fighting several of his greatest foes, including Killer Croc, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, the Joker, and the Riddler, when they start causing mayhem on all over Gotham City once more. But when, what Batman doesn't realize is that this is all a plan set up by another villain who wants Batman dead. Can Batman defeat this new villain before it's too late? Now, after I finished reading Batman the Killing Joke and Batman the Long Halloween, I just had to check out Batman Hush since I heard so many good things about the story. There were many things that I loved about the story, and one of them was Jeff Lowe's writing. I love the way that Jeff Loeb was building up the mystery for the story as I was trying to figure out about why were all Batman's most despicable villains attacking Gotham City at the same time. I also love the way that Jeff Loeb wrapped in all of the characters in the Batman universe, including villains like Poison Ivy, Holly Quinn, Krilla Croc, and the Riddler, and managed to give each villain their own arc that wrapped into the main story. Also, when I heard that there was a new Batman villain who manages to manipulate all of Gotham City's most infamous criminals into one clever plan, I just had to read about how this new villain manages to handle it. What I did find impression about Hush as a villain was that his main goal is to affect Batman emotionally, and I love the way that Hush used villains such as the Joker to emotionally manipulate Batman, since anyone who had read The Killing Joke and Death in the Family would definitely know why Batman hates the Joker so much. The appearances of Nightwing, Dick Grayson, and Robin Tim Drake were a great surprise to me, as I love Dick Grayson, and I was happy to see him working with Batman yet again, since they have such a fantastic relationship with each other. I also love Dick Tim Drake as the new Robin, since he has about the same personality as Dick Grayson, and I love the fact that he is also very close to Dick Grayson, as they treat each other like brothers, and I love how they look up to Bruce Wayne as Batman. I also love the fact that both Nightwing and Robin brought humor to the story with their wisecracks about the situation at hand. I really found Batman and Catwoman's relationship to be truly interesting in this book. I like the fact that Batman was trying to figure out in the story about whether or not he should trust Catwoman with his secret since we have seen what Catwoman is capable of doing. And I really love seeing how much Batman really cares about Catwoman at the same time. Jim Lee's art is probably the best part of this entire story. All of the characters look truly fantastic, especially with Batman looking as brooding as he normally does, and the scenes where Batman is out in the open in the storm with lightning in the background was truly gorgeous to see. I also love the way that Jim Lee made everything glow on the page, as it made the characters in Gotham City look truly beautiful. The cover of this graphic novel was truly fantastic, as it shows Batman and Hush meshed together, and you can see the two different sides of the characters, such as Batman having the good guys in the background on his side, and Hush having the bad guys in the background on his side. If there was a problem I had with this story, it was the character Hush himself. Now, even though I love the fact that Hush was able to manipulate Batman emotionally, I can't help but feel that his motives for doing such a thing to Batman sort of fell beneath what Batman's other villains are normally capable of. Now, I will go more into this in detail in the spoiler section, since I will be revealing too much information about Hush's true character in this review. Overall, I give Batman Hush a perfect score of a 5 out of 5. Despite my feelings on the main villain, Hush, the build-up was perfect, and I love how all the characters played an important role to the plot and how they each affect Batman emotionally. I would highly recommend this graphic novel to any Batman fan who loves reading about Batman being a detective and trying to solve crimes with the help of his friends. Spoiler alert! If you haven't read this comic book yet, then you might want to read this comic book before watching this section of the video. However, if you have read this comic book, and you just want to see my opinions on this section, then keep watching. Now, I have mentioned before that I love the way that Hush emotionally manipulated Batman since it did make him into a truly formidable villain. However, the moment they reveal who Hush really is, turns out he is Bruce Wayne's childhood friend Thomas Elliot, I felt that I already knew who Hush was before the revelation was made. It seemed a bit too obvious to me that it would be Bruce Wayne's childhood friend, since the story would have been too predictable if it was any of Batman's other foes, since we see them pop up in the comics quite often. Another problem I had with Hush was that his motives for torturing Batman weren't quite as complex as some of Batman's other foes. Like, for example, the Joker's motive for torturing Barbara Gordon and Commissioner Gordon in The Killing Joke was that he wanted to prove a point to Batman about how life can make it go insane, if bad things start happening to you, and that was a motive that I found very creative from one of Batman's most well-known villains. 
The reason why Hush wanted to torture Batman was because Bruce Wayne had a better childhood than he did, and he wanted to take everything that Batman cares so much about with, away from him, and he also knows that Bruce Wayne happens to be Batman. Now, even though this motive is more personal than what Batman's other foes usually dish out as on Batman, I sort of wanted Hush to also challenge Batman's sense of justice, since most of Batman's villains challenge Batman's sense of justice. Also, it turns out that there is a sequel to the story called Batman Heart of Hush, and hopefully I will be reviewing that comic book down the line. Well, that's my comic book review on Batman Hush, and be sure to check out my other comic book reviews. This is Rabbit Blog, and I'll see you later.